Do not fret, Mr. Mayor. Everything is under control, I promise you. It's not that I don't trust you, Hugo. It, it's just... It's just the headaches. The pain. They come all the time now. Continue to take the medication. But... It is late, Mr. Mayor. You are tired. You need your sleep. Of course. I need my sleep. You will hang up now. I will hang up now. Imbecile. I couldn't have put it better myself. What? How dare you enter my office? Oh, I'm not in your office. And please don't insult me by attempting to trace this broadcast. You will fail. I take it I am talking to Mr. Edward Nigma. Do you know of any other inmate in your twisted little penitentiary who is ingenious enough to arrange this little chat? Narcissism. A compulsive desire to prove his intellect. And a predilection for riddles. You've read my file. Of course. Good. Then let's get started. How do you attempt to understand what is going on in Arkham City when all of the answers are strange? Good evening, Hugo. I believe it is time for our one-on-one. -on -one. No. It is time for you to stop this and give up. My tiger guards will find you, and when that happens... I will perform the procedure on you myself. Procedure? Oh, you mean what you did to all those poor fools back at the asylum. To be honest, I think you did them a favor. How do you... How do I know that you requested access to all the most forgettable patients and proceeded to melt their brains with the help of that confused milliner? Or did you mean... How do I know that you have been providing the ex-warden with your own special medication? No doubt intended to render his synapses more malleable to your suggestions. Or maybe you are currently wondering if I know about the secret panel in your closet. How it slides back to reveal what you want most. How you sit, wearing that suit, crying into your hands as you question whether you are really worthy. What do you want, Mr. Nigma? Oh, that's easy. I want exactly what you want. And what's that? Batman, dead. Humiliated, but dead. Knock, knock, Professor. Guess who? I grow tired of these insipid games, Mr. Nigma. If you wish to speak to me, my guards will escort you safely to my tower. Please, Hugo. If you're going to set a trap, at least pretend to try harder than that. No traps, Edward. I simply wish to grant you safe passage through Arkham City. I think the time has come for us to meet as equals. You, Strange? My equal? I am the man whose cunning will soon have Batman lying at my feet, bloodied and broken. Really? Then I will pull off his mask and look into his dull, dying eyes. In that last instant, he will know that I have finally beaten him. And I will finally know who he really is. My apologies, Edward. I see now we are nowhere near equals. Finally. You see, like me, you are obsessed with the Batman. But unlike me, you don't know who he really is, do you? What? I know you are lying, Strange. There is no way that you could have figured it out. It's some kind of trick. It must be. Oh, I use no tricks. No childish puzzles. I simply created a psychological profile of the man most likely to be the Batman. And then matched it against the most logical candidate. I was right, of course. Well, who is he? Ah, but that would spoil the game for you, wouldn't it? You must tell me. I implore you, Strange. I... Really, Edward. If I could figure it out, it must be child's play for you. But I... I... Interesting. Tell me, Edward. How is the Riddler like a blank dictionary? You're both at a loss for words. Thank <laughs> you.